guys, in today's edition of Keeping Up With Your BB Ninja Housemates, we'll be talking about fake love. Like, okay, yeah, no, nah, you guys are surprised I am, okay, yeah. So guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you've not subscribed, quickly hit the subscribe button and make sure you click on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, you guys are the MVPs. Thank you all so, so much. So guys, like we all know, like in the house, like those housemates we keep on talking about, I don't know who is who, like, when I get outside, I watch the clips, I'll know who's my friend and who is not. So yesterday, I think in a now deleted video, maybe I feel that yesterday she was all up in her feelings, you know, we get that moment and sometimes we just sit down, we feel some kind of way like, uh -uh, what is going on in my life? Is it that nobody loves me or that? So I think Ilebaye was all up in her feelings yesterday when she shared this video and she said, somewhere far away from fake love. And I'm like, okay, like she did it. She posted it and in a short while, like she just deleted it. I'm like, I'm waiting up for share. She don't receive some buzz boots. Where we'll make her quickly delete. I'm like, okay, what is going on? And then again, guys, I just sat down and I was now thinking. And I remembered a lot of things that played during the whole show. Because, yeah, we know in the house, a lot of things happened. A lot of people you thought were your friends were not your friend. And I could remember very well. She was saying that, okay, I, I feel like she's using me. I feel like she's a, yeah, it's a strategy thing, but no problem. Like, for yeah, we're well, good. But when I go outside, I watch some clips and then I'll know what next. Like, we keep hearing this housemate say that. But I feel like, okay, fine. They are outside the house. Everything is going on smooth. So, you never is still talking about fake love. Yeah, I'm like, it seems like something has happened or she discovered that somebody betrayed her or something. And I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Like, who did something to live by? Because we all know that these people are humans too now. So at some point, when something happens, like, they just want to share without telling us too much because you all know the fans now. Like, if you start dragging them, like, naming names, most of you start talking like, ah, what's going on here? What's going on here? But whichever way, guys, maybe let's just, maybe if there's an unfollowing, or is, it, is she talking about the unfollowing that happened like last week? Or there's a new unfollowing that is going on that we don't know yet. But whichever way, guys, this fake love thing has really been an issue. Like, most especially when they were in the house and outside the house, you just like at some point, some people just gravitate towards some, some people gravitate towards another. Because I remember vividly, yeah, guys, not even this thing. Uh, Ninja All Stars. During the Level Up season, Hermes was kind of like close to Adekule because they were both, both intellectually sound, like you could see them talking and doing some kind of things. And after the house, guys, like I was thinking, okay, the bromance thing, we kind of like continue between both of them. All of a sudden, they are just that there was a shift. Hermes became close to Shex. Even when Shex does parties and all that, you see Hermes there. And when it comes to Adekule, like, there's nothing there. And guys, I'm like, oh, what happened? And the funny thing is, both of them are mature. So, like, they just, like, ended their whole friendship and nobody knew about it. Like, everybody was like, I, I, I'm doing my own thing and all that. Then we had the old Venita thing with Adekule in the house. And they came outside. She was like, eh, like, everything was like a rush. So, she wants to take her time and gather her emotions and all that. Not until she went for the Singapore trip and she was still like don't ship me with the loo the loo and people were like ah, what is going on here is that shading or what is going on here but whichever way guys obviously at some point in time you might like somebody and you just see that this person showing you fake love or something will just happen and you see the person for who the person is and that kind of time you just build up in your feelings like uh -uh, like why did this person do this to me like i can't you you, you can just imagine that so i think that's what that's the kind of fate 11 years go right now so we shall her the best and we hope she comes out of this space pretty soon because yeah it's not about the old baby ninja house too like naturally in life and you see fake love plenty like people tend to get close to you as much as they think you're useful to them as maybe you turn irrelevant to them they will shift you outside and look for somebody else like everybody but it's like, well, let me be close to this person. This person has a lot to offer. Like, hmm, this person is giving me this, 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 that. Like, I'm not even talking about monetary aspects. There are a lot of things that some people be like, ah, if I'm with this person, I'm getting this from this person. And at some point, they're like, ah, I think I've got someone better. They'll just shift you. So there's a lot of fake love out there. The sooner most of you realize, the better for you. Because, oh, um, you see this life, eh? It doesn't have to be independent. Yeah, you need friends, oh, but don't build all up in your feelings with them. Because when they hurt you, so that you know, go go the, hmm, you know, go the feel some kind of way. Because, guys, trust me, fake love, yeah, man. The funny thing is, you must, we can't read minds. Uh, there are times, like, I just feel like, ah, I wish I have the power to, like, read minds. Like, I want to know who genuinely loves me. Like, when you're saying yes, like, in the middle, you're saying, you know, I'm like, eh, okay. 
this person doesn't like me and all that, but we don't know that. So, well, that's why I just feel like if you're living your life, yeah, you live your life freely, you talk to people, you play with them, but don't get too emotional, don't get too emotionally attached to people. So, when they fuck you up, you'll be like, okay, I kind of like expected that, no problem, let me move on. So, that is it, guys. So, what are your thoughts on this? Hear the comment section. How do you think it's showing labor in love, that a eh, fake love that she's all up in her feelings and everything is touching her right now? Hear the comment section, guys. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this one. And in other news, guys, our baby girl with her Dominic is celebrating one year wedding anniversary with her husband Fidelis. And I'm like, guys, it seems like it was just yesterday, guys. I remember the old wedding celebration, like it was glamorous. Everybody came out, and there are a lot of stories. Like some people were like, ah, it's good to wait to like see she now she be, sorry marry better man. And some people were dragging her like, ah, she's too old. How will she is she going to give birth? There were even some blows that came out that ah that the man is a divorcee, that he did this to his uh, former wife, he's this, he's that, he's left with some Nollywood actress and all that. Like, there were a lot of things. Like, guys, the narrative they were bringing out then eh, was like, see, these people should just break out, like, made a break up quick, quick, quick and scatter the marriage. And guys, I like how mature Rita Dominic was with her relationship. Like, immediately at the, after the lavish wedding, they just went cold dead with their relationship. Like, you don't see her posting. She and her man, like, frequently on social media. Most times, when you see her pictures, like, you just see it was maybe, like, she went for a movie premiere or she's with friends. Then the friend actually posted videos of her. That's when you saw, like, that is the key, guys. Because if you put your relationship online, you see all these online in laws they go scatter your matter. Like, waiting, you know, do it, you do, waiting, you know, talk. All of them will just put out, like, say, the guy that contributes money for your ready but so guys i'm happy she's celebrating our one year anniversary congratulations to the couple by this time next year yeah now nah, ibg so guys what are your thoughts on this in the comment section i like to your thoughts on this one also and on this note guys i've come to the end of this video thanks for watching thank you guys for your support thank you guys for your love i don't take it for cool like i don't take you guys for granted all the criticism all the love you guys have been showing through the comment section thank you all so much like come back again guys see you on my next video Bye bye